Sup, BJ, welcome back for some more trials of cold steel. Now, tell him what happened last time. We were starting to get on the ground right away, so that was useless. He was going to save Marcus like us. Even though he doesn't like him. And he found out Fee used to be Jaeger, Jaeger, which is like a mercenary before she joined school. Okay. And that's it? Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to try and find Marcus and save, save his ass. Because let's, let's face it, he needs to be saved. Looks like an underground prison, all right. Indeed. Must be here somewhere. I'm not sure. Who thinks? Marcus! And still in one piece by the sound of it. <laughs> what are you all doing here? Which means the provincial army would just let you go. We didn't sneak in, did you? We came into the underground waterway. I'll open the cell. Does that answer your question? It's a long story. Thank God. <laughs> we'll explain when we have more time. Yeah, right now we need to get away from here before we're caught. As long as we can make it back to the city, we should be able to bluff our way out of any further trouble. Right. Nice. I present myself to being stuck in there for a while. I must admit, though, I'm surprised you of all people would come to my aid. <laughs> I only came to get a glimpse at your tear-stained face. <laughs> yes, I this might be a good opportunity to pay back my father. I see. What? Voices? Oh, crap. Damn. <sighs> it's... Perfect. Lord Eustace? As much as I would love to praise you for a job well done, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to take a short rest. Huh? Let's clean house! Roger that. Right! You're in my way. My turn. Have you seen where I have to film this? Yeah. You do. Because it, it's, it's, um, no, yeah. real people. It's important. Yeah, it's important. Have they explained why Marcus and you just don't like each other? My yeah. Because they, you know, missed that. They forgot. Yeah, they must have, must have forgotten. Can we try to refresh your memory? Maybe. My turn. Uh, okay. Because Eustace is a noble and Marcus hates nobles. That's the only reason? Yeah. That's nothing. It's good that Eric can heal. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah, they're strong. Beaten by students. Mission accomplished. Are you sure that they were alright with this? I've been unconscious for a while, but the lives are no danger. Our priority right now is getting out of here as fast as we can. They, should, they shouldn't be able to catch up with us if you leave now. I'm understood. Let's go. Why don't you join, join the party? Nice. Uh, if I hadn't been so careless, this would never have happened. There wasn't much he could have done. <laughs> I'm just glad you're alright. Stop talking. <laughs> I was first to you. So you can gain your health. Time skip! I'm gonna save just so we have to go back to that again. And also, you can't go to a boss fight. Am I? Yeah. So, uh, I have to do this boss fight and then that'll be it for the video. What happened here? It's no good, they are cold. Someone should have stuck through the underground waterway. Curses. It has to be those damn students. Somebody's in their place. Release the beasts. 
Oh crap. Those fizzy sneaks can serve a test judge to get for them. Are they the crap crap boss? Yeah. What was that? Can you even figure out the direction of the cells? Maybe some kind of trained beast. Yeah, you've got to be joking. It seems the enemy is. If you have the energy to shout, you have the energy to run. Alright, wrong way. Let's get out of here then. I just really like to cut him off, guys. <laughs> oh crap. There are two of them, and they're big. It's back. Hurry. Great. Yeah. This is the worst day ever. <laughs> Come on, Marcus, I just saved your ass, and you say this is the worst day ever? Maybe How long grateful are you? You need to take the two beasts. Sounds like a good day. But I, but I saved his ass though. <laughs> How grateful are you? Of course I have to film this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Sounds like Jesus was itching for a challenge. Here we go. Attack that one first, I think. So the one on the, on the left. Yeah. Okay. Chaos White, I can take that one. It's making power up. What do I take that one first though? So it can't power up. Does it really matter? I thought, I thought, I thought both of them power up. No, this is fine. Okay, I gotta admit that was cool. Do you admit that was cool? Yeah. Expecting a different because it is a boss fight. Yeah. So I shouldn't really expect it to be any different. Did Jesus just get a critical? Yeah. Okay. I'm Miss Counter! Miss Counter again? Where's your problem? My turn. He's just going
Oh, come on down. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm down on the go. I'm down on the go. Go. Time uses. Maybe it in, yeah. Leave it to me. Is you are useless. My turn. Useless, useless. Go. Yeah, no pun intended. Damn it, Rain. I'll this. Don't be useless this time. Sorry, this is 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 Sarah! 
in structure, Sarah. What are you doing here? I've been filled in on circumstances, more or less. I'll take care of matters here. You all return to your posts at once. But, Lord Rufus, with, with all due respect. I've already informed my father. Or do you intend to embarrass me beyond your other transgressions? No, of course not. Second company, withdraw, sir. Please, excuse us. Trained, if nothing else. The provincial army takes this training very seriously, of course. Though I resent the mere notion that it could be misused so grievously. I'm sure you do. So, what brings you here, instructor? Seriously, why are you here? And your timing is a little too convenient. Did you come after receiving word from the provincial army? No, I actually heard about what was happening a little earlier from a friend of mine. As soon as the news reached my ears, I shot to my feet and got right in contact with the director here. And he was kind enough to give me a ride on his airship back from the capital. I don't know what to say. Honestly, you seem to be prepared for virtually everything. Uh, wait a second. Director? Oh, you don't know yet, do you? I also serve as a permanent member of the Academy's board of directors. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to meet again in that capacity. The Board of Directors? Why is this the first I'm hearing of this? <laughs> I decided to keep it a secret so I could see the look on your face when you found out. I'm not the only member of the Board, though, of course. I'm simply one of three permanent members. That explains why you knew so much about Class 7. Way too well prepared. Still, I had no idea my father would attempt something so foolish while I was away. He's always been an obstinate man, but... He's simply gone too far this time. As a member of the Academy's board, I cannot remotely condone the unlawful arrest of a student. Rufus, thank you for your concern. As the hour was late, I returned to the hotel in very high for a good night's sleep, exhausted from the day's events. Huh. The next morning, Granny and the other members of Group A bade farewell to the city and set off with Sarah. This chapter is almost finished. Okay. The next day. So that's class seven, eh? A little rough around the edges, but they managed to get through in one piece. I think I see now why you're so fixated on them, Sarah. And Rufus Alvarea. I've heard people say he's the sharpest noble of the bunch, but still. Is he really? What business could he possibly have over by the canyon so early in the morning? Is what? that what you were about to ask? What? Who are you? <laughs> Pay me no mind. I'm but a low-ranking noble. Is he what he is? Yeah, it's that bad blue bunk guy. I've been watching over those young students to see what they're capable of, much like yourself. Really now, you'll forgive me for asking, but you look awfully like someone a couple of acquaintances mentioned to me a long time ago. You wouldn't happen to have some fancy-sounding stage name or anything, would you? Aha! Uh -huh. You'll just have to find that out on your own. Your acquaintances wouldn't be a certain innocent young couple from a foreign land, though, would they? You'll just have to find that out on your own. Indeed. Well, if you'll please excuse me, it's almost time for the airship to depart, and I really must be getting back to Heimdall. May we meet again, young Bracer. Do give my regards to the Purple Lightning, if you would. Purple Lightning? That's Sarah's name. Oh, I see. Uh, 
As if the situation weren't messy enough. It seems we've got another source of trouble on our hands now. I'd better let the others know, just in case. Are you sure I don't trust him? That's you. <laughs> and you call yourself a teenager. <laughs> oh, me, you actually get to go to sleep every night. You should be full of energy by this point in the day. <sighs> Give me a break. Considering all that's happened this weekend, I think we can be forgiven for being a little tired. Well, that's certainly true enough. Group B had their fair share of problems to deal with as well. But they weren't quite as serious as yours. Although they were of a similar nature. What do you mean exactly? Did they also wind up getting involved in a conflict between the two factions? More or less. St. Ark is another territory belonging to one of the four great houses, after all. Well, they got themselves caught up in a bit of trouble. The four of them managed to get through it together in the end, though. Well, that's good. Oh, that's a relief, yeah. But, Sarah, just what kind of mirror did they pour into buffing up Orok's board anyway? What we saw was nuts. So I've heard. And the Provincial Army isn't the only force trying to improve its armament. The Imperial Army is doing the same, with the Blood and Iron Chancellor and his 20 armored divisions squarely at the center. Really? <laughs> how should the Military Academy... How should we act in a situation like this? Thor's graduates join both the Provincial and Imperial Armies, right? That's nothing you need to be worrying about. Not right now, at least. You're at the Academy to learn. That's all you should be focusing on. While you're there, it's true that you may be forced to acknowledge some of the more unpleasant realities of Erebonia. But I believe there's something special to be gained from that. Something you can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as you're together with your friends and classmates. People for whom there is no substitute. <clears throat> Maybe when you graduate and go out into the world, much of what you've learned at Thor's will have little meaning. But I still truly believe that sometime, somehow, what you experience as part of class seven will be an invaluable treasure to you. It may not seem that way now, but I know in my heart that it will someday. Instructor. <laughs> you almost had me there for a moment. That was the last thing I ever thought I'd hear from you. I'm <laughs> really sorry. You, your words were quite touching, but... Coming out of your mouth, they were just... Painfully droll. Something we can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as we're with our friends and classmates, for whom there is no substitute. <laughs> Stop that! Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> you kids are awful! I was being serious, you know! <laughs> 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 Who's that? I can only saw in that sewer thing. Huh? Me? I'm gonna go meet up with Claire now. Gotcha. See you then, Lester. 
I've got a little reward here for you. Keep up the good work. Huh. Perfect. You guys are the best. This is how I check you get score. You did well this time. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm gonna save. The Verdant City is the trophy I got. Yeah. I guess that is it for this video though. <sighs> leave a comment below, leave a note if you want to some more of this. Please subscribe, turn notifications on so you never miss one of my videos. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on Friday. Until then, peace and lights out.